Raksha can get there, right? He can do that. Yeah, okay. He's going to do that job for us. He's going to bring us the rest of the demons tomorrow. She's never been there in all her travels. Isn't that amazing? I could kill him, actually. Take time out of my busy schedule. Is there any point? Not really. Just takes time out. That means he's, he's a nobody. Wow, look how far she can go with the boots. Wow. And that's avoiding the windmill. I never know whether, if you want to run, run, run along this road, should you let it do that, or should you go to the windmill? Can someone tell me that, if anyone's watching in the comments? What's more efficient? Right? Maybe I can test it, I can figure it out myself, maybe. So she could get to here. She could get to just before that corner. But if she goes here, let's see how far she can go. Okay, maybe I'll test it myself. Right, so let's see. So she goes here. Oh, it does matter. Look at that. It does matter. She's got two extra movement points from going there instead of going around the window. There you go. The only thing I could do is learn... What level two spells do I want to learn, though, that she doesn't already know? Can't think of any. Right, do this. Get your butt back around here. But maybe we should find out. Oh, I forgot about tactics. I can't get there, but I could kill these for you. Right, I'll kill these. Get that done. I bet you though, okay, the masters probably won't do it, but I'm just going to say, this deal there, let's say I got the devils next to them, but there was ten left. If these were normal gogs, I could finish this stack off with gogs. But because they're magogs, they'll incinerate the devils, and I'll have to do the maths and figure out if it's 160 damage. If it is, they can't attack. I can't use them. I think they can kill an Ifrit. But I'm playing so badly, it wouldn't surprise me if they do. took 10 damage. Ruland, get off my lawn. A horde of gnolls for the spells? Girl, will, I, will I do all this? You know, protection from something. Sorry for watching this annoying combat. third level, so that's at least a spell I couldn't have cast otherwise. Yeah, that's something. Mirth. Third level spell. Takes 12. Incre increases one guy's morale. I don't even remember how, by, how much it increases it. Um, it's not a whole lot though, I don't think. Alright, she's got this job to do. Uh, kind of want to come back around this way to do this job. I don't just stand there. Maybe it's okay. So disappointed in you, Josephine. Fafna has more dudes than he had before. Blue is on a proper resurgence. They've played better than me. Well, they haven't played that well. I, they played idiotically with Iona. What's with all the mermaids? Mermaids don't do anything. Is that a purple hero out there? What is that? That well, looks like a purple flag flying there. We're interested to see what the heck that is. It's got to be another ship. Yeah. There's a purple hero out there. Right, Axis, you got to kill the Dread Knights, mate. Don't believe that they are vulnerable to hypnotize. 
don't know how this is going to go. It's an awkward fight. Awkward compositions. Oh, there's tons of them. Wow. Is that the maximum? Is that 20? Is that the hugest size you can have for a pack? I think it is. Um, yeah. So you have movement 9. And you have movement 9. So let's all wait. And then we'll move this guy to a square where... I guess there's no morale flashes. Incoming. Yep. Pixies are all completely dead. I'll be able to do some fun body, body blocking stuff here. So where can she get to? She can get to there. Who's, who are you? You're that. If she stood... Yeah. Let's try to bait them. Yeah. Okay, that's actually really good. I accidentally block off the route for the magic elementals to get in there. So we can make use of the terrain a little bit here. So I have to move now. So instead of that, I could go over here and then... Wow! I'm going to deal massive damage. I'm going to kill three of them. The fire element elemental could finish that off for me. But I kind of don't want... I want to be out in the open so they all surround me. Two, okay, uh, that, I think that was on a low roll. Yeah, so if I stand here, that's a proper nuisance, isn't it? Yeah, I'll stand here. I'll stand here. I did not see that. You can't get to the fire elementals. This has actually been quite quite a meaningful outcome. Just probably need to do a lightning bolt as well. I should have lightning bolted. Okay, he's just well, almost. That's good. Okay. It's not sixteen. Who hasn't acted yet? You. I should probably attack the stack that hasn't acted yet. Alright, let's pile a lightning bolt into it as well. Ah, that's what I like it. That's a very wasteful turn. You still gotta act, and you still gotta act. One, two, three. Oh wait, hang on, if she stands here, you can't do anything. There we go. You can't get through there. Okay. What's up? Let's go. That's nice, that's very good. Uh, you do have there three. Let's, between the two of us, do this, and then we're glued together the way I wanted to be. Ah, oh, that's a mistake, sorry. I thought I thought it was the Magic Elemental's turn, and I was moving the Magic Elemental's. Ah, oh, I'm all over the place. It wasn't a terrible mistake, though, was it? Uh, then they're all going to act, they're all going to gang up on... But I'm going to kill two anyway, so I may as well kill this one, I may as well do this one. They've done very well at avoiding, you know, with the two hexes, they've done very well avoiding multiple attacks from the magic ellies. They won't be able to escape it this time though. But I'm gonna lose tons of my dudes. Yep. Uh, fair enough. Not playing very well. Oh. One perishes, okay. Who did I attack? Oh no, it doesn't matter. Keep forgetting. So I can deal about a hundred damn. Chance of killing both of them. Who's first to act next turn? This guy. Yeah, 
Yeah, then if I get out of the way, ooh, this is good. Okay, well done me. I'm patting myself on the back for the spotting that. He acts first next turn. And then the magic Ellie is going to slide in here. Oh, that's good. What a way to finish. You little beauty, no more. I don't even need to spend any more spell points now. Look at this. Watch this. <laughs> oh, look at my losses. <laughs> in the last campaign, I had this thing going where I had the Shackles of War and I had Resurrection. And I was losing nobody. I was going around the map just kicking butt. And this one, the attrition is just atrocious. And the alliteration is Allosaurus. Go on, be a fire mage. Well, mysticism. Am I up for this? I'm going to do this. Oh, he's already a mysticism anyway. Okay, so basic fire mage. I don't know curse yet. Um, but I'll get there, won't I, with curse? And it'll help with blind. Doesn't buy me more blinds now, though. They kind of do the same thing, right? I'll go from two to three a day. I'll take the fire magic. He's a... He's a... Ooh, leadership's useless for me. Okay, so that's easy. Alright, are we ready to open the box, people? Let's go. Come on. You discover 12 gold dragons. Are we ready? Here we go. We do. I just... What do you mean, relieved? Am I relieved? Don't do that little triumphant music. Cling. You should be playing the music of despair. Third level spell up here, if I can beat a throng of gogs. I don't know if I really want to take on a throng of gogs, actually. Will this be worth it? And there's stuff up here. I can see wood up here. I'm going to find here. There's 150 of them. Ugh. In three stacks. Hypnotize. <laughs> that would be so good if that worked. Um, oh, there's too many. This is stupid. It's 400 hip. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, man. So at least they're going to stay blind for a while. Right. Wait. Do your thing. No. Oh, I lost two. No, I lost one. Yeah. Should I blind the other one? It's probably better to just haste this guy, right? I know haste, which I do. Yeah. I don't think in the lead we're going to have too much trouble. Got 41 left. I think I like haste here for this. Well, blind. So the advantage of blind is that. He walks to here, and then these guys do all the work, and they don't do anything. What do I save? I save two spell points. So how much damn can he deal? About five, about 120. And that's going to be enough to kill about 18 of them. When they crack back, they'll deal 60-odd. Well, I've got defense 10, and they've got attack. Oh no, they won't, because they've... Yeah, okay, I think I think haste is okay. I think we'll save the two spell points. I think it's okay. Oh, you look really impressive now, don't you? Flying across the field at top speed. No, terrible, terrible. Terrible maths. Atrocious. Didn't work it out properly. They didn't kill anywhere near as many as they are supposed to. These guys are now only 27 of them left. Woeful. Woeful. Losing an Ellie. L losing a magic element or just stinks. Terrible, terrible outcome. Next turn, they're awake again. And I've got a good chance of losing some. So 
what should I do? Should I wake them up and then they get a turn? Which seems stupid. Oh, I don't want to do that, so I'll just do this. I'm not using any more spell points. Just out of principle. Uh, no, I'm not. Right, just wait. Do I need to run away? They're just, I mean, if I wait, they're just going to run around to kill... I'm gonna wait because they're gonna be pretty sore after taking this hit from them. Okay. There's only 11 left, I'm just gonna lose one. But... Oh. Not good. Well, then again, there's 140 of them, but I use. Expert wisdom. I'm not gonna do resistance. I don't think resistance matters now. Level 6 is nice though. What are these? A throng of zombies. Might be okay. And I've run out of moves. Not having it my own way is uh, putting, it li be putting it lightly to say that. Not at all. Blue, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, there is a stronghold hero. Good. That just looked like a starting army, and she's a completely new starting hero. Well, isn't this hilarious? I don't think there's much point fighting, right? I'm just gonna flee and never hire her again. Not care. Why waste everyone's time? Well, I just run. Can I cure your orcs? That's what I would want to do if I could. I'm just not even gonna bother. Cool navy setting, like for the fight, but it's a shame. Right, who are you? Oh, okay. I think we have to try, right? What else can I do to buff up the defences here, Glyphs of Fear, add two to the defence skill, well that's something, could get Hydra's a very expensive way to try to defend the town though, Gorgons, the soldiers cost 5-2, stuff we know we want to do. What does she want? When does she want it? Now. She decided that she does want the extra demons. Do you want the imps? Slowing me down. So not really. No, we'll just let the imp let the imps go, I think, won't we? Come down to me here. Come to me. Come to there, you come to here. I'll expand my knowledge at the Garden of Revelation. The monk sitting in the center of the garden invites you to meditate with him. You do, and after a short time, you feel enlightened. Ah, monkey man. All right. Picadram, my old nemesis. Picadram, you son of a gun. I'm saying my army can beat your army, plus, yeah, see a few giants, you don't even have them in titan mode. I don't understand why that is. Have you run out of money? You couldn't afford titans, so you bought giants instead. Right, what is this? Oh. Can't use that. I don't know how to use sacrifice, I've never built a successful sacrifice build. You come across a lavish shrine attended by a group of high priests, and they give you force field. 
Force field isn't very good. What are we going to use that for with this composition? We're going to use it. A throng of zombies. I think the time has come to just have a look and then. Prize isn't good enough, and I want to come back down here and do this. Uh, yes. To hell with you guys, yes. Awed by the power of my forces. Like, don't be. Don't be. I don't deserve your awe. Am I being too hard on myself? Maybe it's getting old. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be more. I'm trying to be less. Uh, furious with myself. Are you guys stupid enough to... You are. Well. Um. Alright. Give me this. You come across a camp of nurseries who crack up with laughter when they watch you try to swing a spear, uh, a halberd. Laughing, they give you a sword and ask to see that, but wet themselves uh, as you attempt to swing it stupidly around your head. They welcome you, however, to your troops, and you invite them to train with them, and somehow you do manage to walk away having learned something about how to attack. Who's dead? Why am I missing a hero? Oh, yeah, yeah, the water girl. Okay, I'm missing the water uh, hero. The eagle, <coughs> eagle eye hero. <coughs> Alright, so I can spend this money, but we better make a start. So we know we want the castle. Uh, as a starting point, we will be buying these, but I don't really need to just yet. He's not going to come and get me tomorrow. Also, critically, like, we only have four heroes. But I just don't feel I need more, right? I don't want to spend the 2,500 gold. It's like, you know, Picadram is in the wrong part of town. Like, he's out of position. And I think this is going to really hurt Blue. Okay, great. Let's grab their stuff as we go, the same way they've done to me so many times. Hello, who are you? Grendon, not good enough, my friend. You need to find someone with a stack of six titans and 15 naga queens. Uh, otherwise, this game could be over. Well, for you at least. A throng of gnolls, we should be able to get past them. I'm not going to go to the stockpile. Yeah, okay, that means that they think that the fight's easy, so it's good. Let them come over. They go for a wander. Fire elemental is almost a complete waste of money. So, you know, like, magic elementals are so insane. They're so good. Everything else in the complex stinks, except for the phoenixes. And the sprites, I suppose. Okay, so does this just deal massive damage? I suppose it does. Okay. Fine. I don't think I'll be able to kill 55. Maybe that's that new found attack skill, eh? Axis? Oh, I hold it by the hilt of the sword. <laughs> I've been holding it by the blade. My hands are covered in blood all the time every time I try to wield a sword. I was doing it wrong the whole time. Hello, hellhole. Pack of green dragons is too rich for my blood, I think. Yeah. There are sprites, but this means there's another inferno somewhere nearby. I need this ore about as much as I need a... Hellhole. No, I wait, I do need a hellhole. Oh, there's lots of, lots of marksmen. Lots of marksmen could be blinded, they could be messed with. I desperately need the actual pit fiends. It's more the inferno that's nearby that I'm interested in. Stay on the road. Lots of stormies. I can walk past. Yeah, again, don't really need any of this stuff. I don't want to fight the dwarves that much. There's the inferno. It's grey. 
It's got troops I can easily slaughter. Oh, that's nice. And look at that. It's nestled in the corner. So the underground's quite rich in this map. It's quite a lot richer. Interesting map. Right, so come back here. And just grab enough stuff. Stupid. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to go up here, flag this, and sort of be able to scare him off. Well, how many dudes do I need to do that? I mean, it seems like it's not a very good use of my money. But I can't have you wandering around up there taking my mercury. Is there any case for another hero? I think that is right. We could put another hero here to get ready to bring more elementals and stuff down to Axis. Yeah, if it was going to be a longer game, we want to build this up into something big as well. He can come back up this way, come, come on his way back though. Uh, do I want another hero? We don't need another hero. We don't need another... First aid chance. Oh, I don't want to waste this money in buying her back. Yeah. She's still got the 5,000 experience she came out with, came out of the prison with. We've done literally nothing with her except sail around. She does that for wisdom. I just let her go. She can't gallop around on snow. I'm not going to hire her. I don't want that uh, necromancer, so... I think you can dismiss... Can you dismiss the hero, though? How's this way? No, in this version of the game, I'm playing... In other versions, you can invite your own hero, which I don't really like. I like the idea that you have to get work with what you're given, kind of thing. <sighs> boy, oh boy. Oh no, hang on, so I built the castle, he ran away as a result of me building the castle. He changed his mind. Sorry. Okay. Don't need that. Don't need the hydro farm, don't need anything really. She's just there to trade water. Okay, I'm just happy with this. I'm just going to end the turn. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they all do. That's what they all do. They all just... That's what Tan and Orange did as well. Um, I'll, I don't know. Um, I guess I'll just run for it. So obviously I'm going to go do that gig. Because then I can just come back down. I still have three days before I have to actually take the town. So why let that army live? Age. But I might cast it anyway, for flavour reasons. Let's have a look. So, yeah, blue and purple. Grindon is going down. Oh, he's really going down. <laughs> nah. um, he's got 11 spell points. His fastest unit is 7, 8. And it'll die fairly quickly. Yeah. I kind of want to make sure that this is dead. What's my most powerful unit? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. Okay, so I can't quite get there. But I don't have to fight it. Right. Kill the other things first. Just ignore the elves, who cares? And the Magogs actually could be useful because they can attack the ammo card, it'll work properly. Alright, so I'm not even going to try and defend the Gogs. Maybe I might end it, end up needing to. Okay, um, don't want to waste spell points on this fight if I can help it. Oh, Grindon. 
Power 3, Knowledge 6. He's obviously an Elementalist. He has the Knoll's Flail. I remember that. That seems good. That seems like a pretty good um, target. 360. I'm going to kill nearly all of them, but not quite all of them. Then the devils go and kill the... Uh, Pegasi? Ah, uh, the unicorn, I mean. Or I could just do this. Kill them for sure. Go on, boys. I believe in you. Better the devil you know, and the devil I know is this guy. I don't think the Nargis and the Dwarves are going to kill the devil. Depends what he casts, he might cast something. Do I have morale? I do have plus morale, so let's do... Let's move. <sighs> Love it when a player comes together, baby. Although, having said that, I don't actually want to use him yet, so I'm going to wait. Oh, he had a nice bolt. Well, that's not the Magog's fault. Um, right. Another monk, sitting in the centre of a different garden, invites you to meditate with him. You do so, and after bad-mouthing the first monk for a while, you end up feeling quite enlightened. That's good. And we're ready to rock. Okay, so it's just a gimme. Alright, so do this. There's that big scouting we all wanted to see. This fight's a joke, but sadly I will be losing my share of magos. Yep. Oh, a lot of magos. Again, not their fight. Ten magos tonight, so I'll protect the castle. That's the way it should be, like it should be. You know. I actually could have a gamble here, like a good human opponent would have had seven stacks here and I've only made three flies to ensure a second round of shooting. So I probably should have. Well, I can only make one extra stack, couldn't I, even if I wanted to? I think this will pay. This is awesome, but she's not really gonna be big on Earth. She does no slow. She's already a fire mage, and she's not a very good mage anyway. Plus one spell power though, and finally, so she'll have three. Earth mage? No, I'll just be an armorer. I think I'll just be an armorer. Come in here, learn whatever's in here. Let's have a look around. Fully developed town, but only a level 1 mage guild. Oh my god. Yeah, but it is. They do have titans, right? No, just giants. Where'd you get your titans from? You know how Iona came up to me with titans? Oh, you got the lookout tower. Look at that. I can see everything. A little weapon over here. I think that centaur's axe is worse than my current weapon. That's a pretty mean fight. Lots of monarchs, but with blind and this army, I'd be able to kill it. But what I really want to do is come up here, take this town, take that town, and then I think the game's nearly over. Like, it's... Even though I play badly in the second half, the combination of luck and maybe some good decisions in the first half uh, have, have meant that I've been able to nick it. Um... This will be over pretty quickly. Let's just do this. Why wouldn't I do this? Yep. Come on, boys. Come on. Oh, whatever. Come on. Sorry, wasting time. Wasting time. You can skip. I forgive you. If you want to scroll ahead. Um, look, I've been wasting everyone's time. They're going to get to me. Oh, man. 26 damage. Sloppy is the word. Inattentive. Stupid. Yeah, yeah. 
luck. I had luck in the last thing, and it was actually not bad. And luck does matter with elementals. It works with them. On the other hand, being able to do expert blind um, is worthwhile. Oh, sweet. I can hire some guys. Look at all the guys they have. So between those guys that are here and the hellhole, I can get past the lots of marks, but I need to use some spells for that though. I could set this guy up, couldn't I? Or he could just keep galloping and not worry about those soldiers, not worry about the hellhole, just keep moving. Could build a mage guild here though, to beef up his uh, spell points. Yeah, I think that might be worthwhile. He has to spend the money. Uh, kind of in a hurry. This doesn't really look worth unlocking though. Anyway, hang on, we'll come back to this. What's she doing? She's not staying the night, right? She's moving on. Pay a grand for her to learn another knowledge. Um. Alright. Or I can pay to have her learn some more spells, but again, there's nothing in the fire school that I want to learn at level 2 that I don't already know. You study the glyphs on the wall and gain insight into the workings of various magics. Fascinating. Why the original owners didn't bother building it for themselves, we'll never know. If he's not, uh, I'll have plenty of time then to get ready to buy next week's troops. Did I ever buy these last week? No, in case I've done that. Then do this. Okay. Good job. That's a good job. Well done. Sasha's just doing a thing. Do I want to beef up the defences here anymore? Hydropon's the only way to do it. Very expensive. I think the answer is no. I don't think uh, Edric's coming back. Today at least. So we're back to here. So everyone else has been solved. Do we want to do this? Lots of air alleys into what could be Soul crushing. I don't think. I don't know how they level up, but I don't think there'll be five stacks of 30. Alright, I'm not going to do that. That would have been an interesting and fun thing to do, but I just don't need angels. I just don't think I want or need angels. The dwarven treasury should be pretty easy. For Axis, so we'll try that. If I build a tavern in here, I get extra... Yeah, these are cheap, and it gives me extra Thieves Guild info. Ooh, okay, yeah, now we're talking. We've got all the info unlocked. So, Kingdom Army Strength is... Purple. OMG, Archangels are online. Blue is the town that's... Is the faction that's nearly dead. But it does mean that Fiona's going to get her comeuppance from the Archangels. The Archangels are going to kill the Devils. So that's actually really, really important intel. It means that we don't have the luxury of recklessly going for it with Fiona. Wow. Okay. So that tells me that Purple has been digging underground as well, like I have. They've found their under underground access and they've gone down through it. Through one of these. Edric, um, yeah, wow. Okay. I don't think I can defend the fortress against Archangels. Um, oh, but it's going to be one of my... It's going to be a useless spell. It doesn't really matter who it is, does it? 
It's got to be before day one, so that on day one I can move. <sighs> yep. So she's back, people. Tiva. Slow as a wet week as well with the stupid knoll that she found. There's just no point doing anything with this woman. She's just a junk messenger hero. I can't do her job of being that. Right, I'm staying for the night here. I'm not building anything else. That's nobody. Okay, here's Edric finally. What are you packing, son? Oh, here they are. Okay. A few archangels. So if it's three, we're in very big trouble. We should probably abandon the fortress. Um, should we defend it? And then there's the question of the conflux. Like, we need to get back and defend the conflux because he's coming. Yeah, we try to give him the bloodiest nose we can. We slow him down as much as possible. Yep. Okay, so glyphs of fear. Let's do this. Ooh, look at them. Terrifying glyphs. Josephine, it's been a pleasure. No, it hasn't, actually. Your efforts against Picadre are more paltry and not good enough. And I just hope that you, in this final episode, you know, in your final last stand, that you're able to make amends for what was a dreadful performance against Picadre, frankly. I know it's harsh, but that's where we're at. Yeah, get ready. We're going to set Fiona up. Uh, windmill to here, and then you're going to gallop. You're going to get to about here. So that's where I'll stay, waiting for you. And I'll get to about here. I might even get down to here actually for you, that's pretty good. Yeah, I guess that's alright. She could actually pop back in, I should have maybe could have... Uh, let's see, let's just see what she can do. I don't think a second level mage guild is worthwhile. Alright, so Axis needs to... I was going to say Axis needs to get his butt back here. Um, to defend this area against this, which I think is true still. We might just about have time to get the dwarves done, so we'll be optimistic. Murder the pixies. How's this going to work? Exactly. You have speed 9, I have speed 9, but I go first in round 2. Better not lose a fire elemental here. Uh, they can't hurt. They can't hurt um, one of these. They can't. It's not possible. Didn't want to spend four spell points on that fight. I'll tell you that. But that's just because the composition's so bad, right? So, with that said, do I want to do this? Well, I came here to do this, so yes. Okay, alright, so it's just a joke. It's not even going to be... This is a joke! Like, these guys can't even defend each other. 
That's just wonderful. One, two, three. Oh no, well he can because I stood there. Um, jump in there. Oh, Twenty damage. damage. Not happy. I can't even run away. I can't even run away from them. <sighs> Chunking. You are junking. Right, so look, if I slow them, it's the same as blind, and they've got magic resistance, so 40% magic resistance, so it's a 50-50. Alright, so they are slowed. Did not want to spend spell points on this either, but yet here we are. Alright, you sods. Bearded losers. Pot and kettle. Bit of an issue there, maybe. Come on, man. Ten spell points down. The gurgler and the fire elemental. Oh, good. Playing like garbage. Basic offense could be good with this. Yeah. Well, that's not too bad, but. I don't need to. Right, what's the fastest way back down here? Well, it's going to tell me that anyway, though. I don't care about these resources and stuff. Let's just go the fastest way. Is this the fastest way, though? Yeah. There's a chance of messing that fight up as well, so just on that basis we'll do it. Alright, she's doing... She's ready for the final stand. The last... Great last stand. Against the coming tide of heaven. Oh, who's this now? Doubling down. Fortress is about to fall. Edric and... Oh, Sylvia. <laughs> Champions, Ents, Zealots, Griffins. And she's got, like, all the other stuff. Okay. Axis just needs to get his butt cheeks back to defend the complex, and we need to repair the complex. I've probably messed up, I should have been preparing. Apart from obviously wanting the castle, we're going to want to upgrade our stuff. Could 45 grand's a lot of money, I could actually get... Ah, oh, I've messed up. I should have been building and preparing, so the castle gives us the extra beef that we'll need. We won't be piring, but there's still time to upgrade our elementals. It's probably okay though, because we plan to buy a lot of things tomorrow here with my guy. Um, and I'm not going to be able to... Well, we're not using imps, are we? So this will work. He says confidently. Right, what can you do, my friend? Not this guy, not this guy. Think a bit further than that tomorrow, I reckon you can. Get to about there. Yep. Easy. He has dead set not moved, and that suits me just fine. Tifa. She's already moved a few squares, so she will be able to get about to there. And we're going to put the pressure on, because I think all of Purple's energy and effort is down here now. So we're going to try and sandwich them. Conquering a fortress is pointless for them, like it doesn't gel with anything they're doing. It's not pointless, no, obviously that's the whole point of the game, is to conquer, 
the conquest. Uh, but I'm feeling okay here. I think we're all right. Oh, I was going to try and do this to see if it matters. No, okay, just get ready to receive the army. Yeah, messed up with Conflux, for sure. I should have been building it up, building up the uh, capabilities. Alright. Josephine. Come on. Time to die with honor. Two. There are two. <laughs> no ballistics. Blind? 30 out of 10 spell points? How does that work exactly? Okay, resurrection is the first thing he does. How many times per combat can he do that? Yep, he has to waste a turn to spell it, so that's something as well. He has any other, many other routes to victory, so... Here is one of the reasons why Archangels are not as good as dragons, in my opinion. In terms of excitement factor, as I've said in that tier list video. Nothing personal, my dear. Ten. Uh, I guess my guys will shoot, I suppose. I think I'd rather shoot these, though, than the... Oh, I'm even kill one here. Hey! And... Yeah, let's just defend ourselves. Good, good arrow tower. Delightful. Uh -oh. Yeah. Kills one. Wow. That's huge. Instead of blinding his own guy, uh, instead of curing his guy, he, um... So maybe he doesn't know cure. And if that's true... How long's blind gonna last? <laughs> not very long. <laughs> yeah, not very long, right? Um, she's power level two, so I'm gonna save my spell points and do it again. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then we're just trying to shoot Griffin in the meantime. Do I want to attack the Griffins? Not really, because I'm blind as a bat. So let's just stay on defense. Um, yeah, defend yourselves. Okay, so they are going to come and try and stand here. Do they have to walk through two layers of tar? That's very good if it's true. He has to blind again. Oh my god, he doesn't know cure. That's the end of them. He's just gonna stand there. Cop that, you buzzer. Try to stand here. I don't care about the tent. That's, well, I do care about the tent. Yeah, come and stand here. I don't know if that's going to matter. If that work exactly. We are making you pay, and this Josephine is what I wanted from you. We're making them. We are making them pay dearly. Lovely. Oh, look at that. Look at that attrition. Gorgeous. Pathetic. And finally goes down. Five griffins. I'll kill two if I do this. Uh, and without a spell points, I'll do something. Okay, fair enough. He has triple morale. Expert leadership. Fire! Yeah. And 
he can't attack on the turn he doesn't. Oh, mate, I'm so sorry to hear that. So we'll get this guy ready to replace the current guy. The Archangel's are back anyway now, but... Um, just a fair bit of this. Dying like flies in the tar pit in front of my fortress. Goodbye. This is real. Oh, great, great attrition. Beautiful. Just stay alive as long as possible, boys. The tar pit and the arrow towers do its thing. Oh, okay, finally he gets out of there. Finally they've they've breached the walls and they're in. Griffin's going to only kill one of these two stacks if I run up here. Although the Archangels are online. Weakness isn't going to matter. Die. Yes, good, good. Good wounds. Those cat ears. Champions, I mean. Wouldn't want to be there. Oh, I... The tar pit kills the entire group. Why did you stand there? What was the point of that? Uh, seven of me. If I attack, will I survive the retaliation? This might kill me. Four times, say, 624. I think I'll survive the retaliation. I'm going to kill that last one and survive. Thank you. Okay. You can't reach me. My turn. Okay. Josephine, you redeemed yourself. Well done. Thank you. We'll get a truly notable mention. Oh, no, sure. What? Oh, they couldn't get to me? No, the ends haven't moved yet, though. I think this guy wants to go down fighting. Well fought. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Four champions. That's that's not bad. Now he is coming though for Oh Gerd is here. I have to kill Gerd on the way? What? Oops. I'm gonna get there though. I'm still gonna get I will get there. Even if I have to kill Gerd first. Gerd, do we have to do this? guys. All three of these starting troops for the Stronghold are pretty weak, I think. Yeah, they just don't, uh, they just don't excite in any way. I don't like orcs. You don't get enough of them. enough damage. Why aren't you running away? You don't care. I'm there. I'm there and I'm safe. It's day one. But let's just get home. Right now. Can I cope with Archangels coming, cope with that residual army coming through. Okay, they bought the Hydras. They paid for and bought Hydras on day one. There, what, there wasn't a Hydra pond there. Gee, that makes some weird decisions, the AI, doesn't it? Or was it day seven? No, it was day seven. So they built the Hydra pond. Bought one Hydra to ruin their morale. Because why not? Yeah. 
and then came galloping back out again, and now it's day one, and there's more hydras here for him to go back and get if he wants. Right. Let's just deal with this first, because I can't set Fiona up until I know what's happening here. I know that that's happening, and that's looking quite like quite a nice stack. I think this is happening, right, because that's going to be quite good in defense. Yeah. This will be expensive. Oh, it's very expensive. Probably have no choice. So I actually think my standing army, I don't need to overreact. My standing army, Sylvia wasn't very good if she comes back. My standing army will easily beat the two archangels. Plus I'm a way better mage. I'm a much better mage than he is. So you can overreact. Another way of looking at this is that I could pile in. Right, I could wait until tomorrow, get all the get all the other elementals, and then come galloping back out and just undo this injustice. So that's what I might actually end up doing. All right, let's do this. I'm satisfied. I think he's got enough. I don't think he needs more. I think the tar pit did an amazing job. Um, what do we know this girl wants? We know she wants this. We know she wants the Magogs. And yeah, I have enough money for all that and I can still buy the Storm Elementals if I want to. Okay. I don't need Imps, I don't need Pit Fiends. Well, no, I don't need them. There's 12 pit fiends if you want them. So we're going to make that decision. I think we just do that. Just do that, it's fine. What do you even worry about? Don't even worry about it. What does the blacksmith do? I never use these. I don't like underneath them. Ended at a strange point here. Um, I was just about to hand um, this big injection of troops to Fiona when I don't know what happened someone needed something and I couldn't keep playing and it was yesterday or the day before no the day before right anyway you don't need to know the details of my personal life um, no matter how fascinating they may be yeah we have this cool concertina thing going Raksha is bringing the army giving it to Tiva Tiva is going to give it to Fiona uh, we're going to use Picadram can come back here, but there are troops, fresh troops in Silver Spire to defend Silver Spire. Fiona's going to flag this, come galloping into here, and hopefully cause all kinds of headaches for whoever this is. By the way, a new thing I think I've figured out. I think this thing here is a hill fort. Something is coming back into my memory. I think it's very highly possible that the archangels that we saw earlier that took the fortress off us are actually really angels that have had a bit of training at the hill fort, okay? With that said though, does that make a difference? Not really, right? Having access to a hill fort right next to your empire is just always going to be print you so much value if you just habitually go past it every time on day one. So I don't know, maybe that's not really a thing, like as in, maybe that doesn't cheapen, cheapen them. Um, an archangel is an archangel, right? It's still going to hurt like hell uh, when it hits you. Now, I messed up. I didn't run through the windmill, so Tiva has to waste a move doing this. But in doing so, she learns all the juicy stuff from Raksha, which is great. And I have an opportunity to just be really risky. Kill the Knoll and leave each of them with one sprite to really improve their land movement. Um, Loyness is floating around. Is that worth doing? It's a bit gambly. Maybe I get some gargoyles or something. Someone at some point can do that. It's very gambly, but we'll do we'll do it. I really don't think I need to care about the vampires, Cal. Right, so Tiva takes the army. She's gonna come up short, substantially short, actually. Yeah, where is that purple idiot? Okay, he's up here. Not too worried though, right? 
Not too worried. Tiva, bring me the horizon. I'll collect it off you right now. You're wasting my time back and forward. Fiona will not be impressed with that. Having to take those extra steps. Uh, give me them, yes. So this army is formidable. And against um, Endric, she will... You know, she will reign supreme, I think. Um, we want to have a think about our split out. So we've got everything except familiars. And is it going to be worth it to make sure we've got all seven slots filled? I don't know. Probably yes. Uh, we've got the extra movement. They have movement ten, so starting from one of these squares seems good. Not the devils and Ifrit on opposite sides of each other. This means at, on this square the devils, sorry, the Ifrit sultans will be able to get over the map every time, just about, I think. Decent artifacts, yeah, plus one movement, good land speed, bit of mirth going on. Tiba still doesn't have a first aid tent, but happy for her to just go unrequited. I feel like maybe I could get another hero. Bahir? To sort of tag up with Tiva and become... They can become the guardians of the tower. Raksha goes back this way. Axis is stuck defending the conflux over here. I think I decided 19 magic elementals are just way too hard for Edric to deal with. Like, he's going to need to go and get more hydras and other stuff. You know... Fortress doesn't help him. Like, it's a Pyrrhic victory. Pyrrhic victory. Taking the tower off me. Now, I'm so eager that I'm going to skip this and let Tiva flag it for me, as well as the windmill. There's the hill fort, and it just occurred to me I can upgrade the devils. <laughs> so I should probably do that. I can get there now and do that. I've got 22 grand in the bank. Oh, man. I'm sitting there, and my logic, my brain is going, oh, that's how they did it with the Archangels, it's so unfair. It's not just their hillfort, it's anybody's. Oh, I just spent that money, I didn't even... What was that? Ten grand? Boom! Oh, that felt good. That was fourteen grand, but that was... That was really really good. That just happened. I just found myself clicking. Right, can I see what's in the rampart? Do I want to conquer the rampart or do I want to continue galloping down into here? Uh, it doesn't matter. She's only got three move points anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Yes! Alright, well on that basis, should we have a look at what we've got in terms of options for the tower. I hope my levels are coming through okay. I've got the audio turned down on my desktop. So, yeah, I hope you, you can hear me and the music isn't drowning it, it all out or vice versa. Right, we already knew that about Magog, so that doesn't help much. Olima... Very good at weakness. I love ballistics. I know most of you out there think ballistics is a waste of time, but I think it's awesome. Um, yeah, and we're in a mage guildy place. Not really, just level one. Okay, or we can have Ajit, the Beholder Lord. Basic leadership, basic resistance. This guy is not going to do much for us. I think Olim is the one I want. Fits the theme of being a heretic. Yeah, let's go ahead and hire Olima. And, like I said before, how fast are these? They're not very fast. I'm looking for fast units. Remind me how fast is a master gremlin? Speed 5. We'll hire a handful of these. Jeez, they're quite expensive actually, aren't they? Sorry, brief edit there. Um, 
What was I going to do? Oh yeah, um, Olima, welcome to the fold, Olima. Okay, Olima has some spells, whatever, it'd be good if she could go and learn the things. Can she get to the educator? Rash Rashik has done a good job of educating the, the crew, I think. Hasn't he? Don't really think she can. What I really wanted to do with her was kind of distribute the gargoyles around to just make everyone a bit more robust. Do these jobs that are here. Maybe do that. Hire some tower guys to go and get the ring of life. Maybe isn't worth bothering. Did I need to hire a Lima? I probably didn't, although I'll need someone to run up and down between here and there as well. It might be nice to have someone to follow um, Fiona around. How fast is a gargoyle? Six? No, nine. They're obsidians. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, let's do something like this. Three each. There's speed nine as well, right? Yeah, it's us. Doesn't matter. Um, Mercury is good for us. Very good. Right. Uh, it's day one. I don't want to build anything unless I want to build it here. That's a village hall. Probably should have made that upgrade some time ago. Many of you may be screaming at the screen for me not having done that. That's usually a fairly low to the ground, no brainer upgrade to little towns like this that don't, don't have a um, fortification. I wonder how much money I've lost by not doing that. Might not be that much. Okay, so we're ready to defend the Conflux if Edric comes through the portal. But I suspect he'll muck around here, he'll probably flag this and just sort of sit here. And if that's the case, then I may be able to come back and even... Could I take the castle back off him? Could I take the fortress back off him? I don't really need to, right? Like, I don't have to do that. Come back and get the gold mine off him and just besiege him with a big conflux army. Yeah, that's right, and I'm remembering now as well from two days ago. I don't have enough build slots left to upgrade the energy to get energy elementals and ice elementals. I can only get one. Unless I take a whole extra day. <clears throat> but maybe I can afford a whole extra day. Okay. Overthinking things as usual. Blue sailing around uselessly. Loyness, you're a joke. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, hello. Well, well, well. CL. Kiel? I don't know how to pronounce anything in the game. Now, you're the much-fated hero of yore. Your army's impressive. But Fiona's is better. Please accept this magic arrow as a token of my intent. And I'll see you later. Olima, it says you're cowardly, but I don't think you're cowardly. That is just gorgeous. So CL didn't want to die behind the walls. I could go and flag the town, but that's a bit risky. I don't want her running around down in here, mucking about. Yeah, this, this is just a... This is just a huge, huge advantage. The Archdevils will go first, I believe. And on turn one, what am I going to do? I do have basic haste, which could be really relevant. I should have checked how many spell points CL had. I didn't absorb that information. Um, okay, so thinking about it, we're going to want to fly over, land next to the Marksman, and annihilate the Crusaders on turn one. Um, seven Archdevils should do that comfortably. If I put them in a position to do so at the top. He has dragons and griffins, but neither of them can get to the magogs. If the dragons are down the bottom of the screen, I think they were. Hang on, I can check. 
and remind myself. Yeah, the dragons are down the bottom of the screen. So my magogs are going to be at the top of the screen here by putting them on the left. I might just plonk him back in. Yeah, and we'll make it that your prize for flying over is that you get to hit the pit lords. Ah, uh, this fight is so. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna slaughter them. Do I need, do I even need haste? Royal Griffins will have the same speed as me if I don't. I don't know. All right, let's just get let's just get into the fight. Juiciest fight of the campaign, but still fairly one-sided though, right? Oh yeah. Sorry, I'm wasting everyone's time. I can arrange. I can make my arrangements. So I get the first turn with the Arch Devils. I'm going to cast Haste on the Doggies. And we're just going to fly over and kind of do what the AI would do. We're going to position the Devils and e freets so the Marksman can't do anything. Use the attacks to really uh, slaughter the Crusaders, which I think is actually the most scary stack. And the Dogs are going to attack the first aid tent and get a three-way, three-headed attack down there. Uh, off Expert, not Expert Haste, uh, Basic Haste. I think that's the way to go. Um, the crackback will hurt a bit, the dragons, the griffins and stuff will hurt, but I think it's better than wasting our advantage, sitting back. CL can't haste the dragons, but she could haste the champions and their charging bonus will hurt, the marksman will get to shoot without, with impunity. Not really what we want to see, so I think that's what we're going to do. Let's begin. Um, my decision is, I'm going to start here, and then on the Ifrit's turn, See, the thing is, CL has 47 um, spell points. Well, that's just exceptional. Do I want to do this as well? I don't know. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to haste the dogs and get that hit in there. I think it's a really nice hit. I had planned to finish the Crusaders off, um, but I'm wondering now if I instead should go for the Unicorns. I have the potential to kill three, pos three, or three to four. They can't blind the Efreet in response because I'm immune to blind yeah and the stack as it stands these guys strike twice deal about 180 odd damage they actually deal nearly as much damage as 8 unicorns I've forgotten how strong crusaders are when they attack um, yeah retaliation isn't really an issue unicorns or crusaders Unicorns can come trotting out here, be a bit of a pain in the butt. I think I'm going to go for the unicorns. Do that. So this is all pretty standard. Four is nice, four is better than three. I might have lost one in response. Um, now I think the way this works is if I just attack the first eight tent, this triple thing will happen. And it's weird that I'm playing the Cerberus hero. This is the first time we've actually in the whole campaign been able to leverage the three-headed attack. And that's an idiotic thing to do. You've just killed two of your own unicorns. I have seen better AI performances than this in my time, I must say. I really have. Maybe it's fear of Magogs. He wanted to avoid standing next to the Crusader. That Something like that. Five Cerberus par perish. Another two perish. Five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Just make sure we're going to be able to connect. He's not going to kill the last e -freak. That's interesting. He's going to try and blind. Hmm. Don't, don't know if I approve of that one. Now, I'm pretty sure the e resist the Magog Fireball. I don't really want to find out the hard way, though, do I? The dogs don't. So you can see here what a problem that is. I can attack the champions. That won't kill one though, probably. Um, immune to fire. Do I resist a f Magog Fireball? I don't know. 32 of them aren't doing much anyway. Let's find out. Jesus. I didn't even... I mean, I knew they were bad. I just didn't know that they were that bad. That even e Free can't resist the Fireball. Really? 
All you people out there who just like responded to the creatures tier list. Oh, Magog's not nah, man. Why would you annoy the devils and then? Uh, why would you do that? Yeah, Crusader hits, man. There's nothing worse. Okay. Well, I hated that um, from the Crusaders. Now I want to think about whether I can win the game with another haste. So I have three attacks coming up. So three of these stacks can can I kill the Griffins in one hit? No, maybe. The, they might die to the Arch Devils. Tell me what's wrong with that idea. There's nothing wrong with it, is there? One. 87, so that's a kill. Dogs come, come next. Don't get in the way. Stand here to do it. So annoyed, man. Magog fireballs hurt Efreet Sultans. How stupid is that? Right, now's the time to do it. You're out of the game. You're dead. I hope. I didn't check, actually. Yeah, of course you're, of course you're dead. Don't be ridiculous. And now the marksmen are dead. Didn't even need him. You do nothing. Do nothing. And I've actually got time. I've got a couple of turns to do anything else I want to do. Cure doesn't bring back any dead bodies. That would be good. I don't want to do anything else, right? I just want to win. Yeah. Game's over. The fight's over. Arch Devils on level 3 versus level 3. CL, nice knowing you. You really needed to get your house in order. Not bad, right? One of these e freaks died because I was experimenting with Magogs. Okay. I've got some sort of little thing there. Ballistics, eh? I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it because it's the greatest skill ever. I can run all the way back up here. I've got great moves. The rampart is mine. Can anyone find out for me if the rampart is mine? Now, what happened? Alima died? Yeah, but she died well. <laughs> what should I do next? Picadram still being a coward? Okay. I think I just run back up and play play dumb. If I have to run back down here, if, she, if they start sending one back down here, yeah, you just do that, right? Can't learn those. It's not worth it to do that. I don't think. Expert scouting once again. Okay, yes, yeah, so I can actually take the town today, so that seems excellent. Use my expert ballistics <laughs> to get stuff done. I'm going to take casualties though, which is sad. Should I do this? I don't think that's necessary, right? We, we want to just land next to the elves and uh, kill them. Okay, take me to here. So blue has still... This is all blue. So purple has the town, but... And CL was a purple hero that I killed, I think. I get them mixed up, blue and purple. We just take it, right? We can take it and spend our, spend the night in the Mage Guild. I hope it's Magogs that die here and not uh, 28 normal elves. Hmm. 
Arthur? Isaac? Isaac? Um, am I... See, I have the discretion now to use the catapult any which way I want. Uh, I could go for this, I could go for the gate. Having these three guys... Am I likely to knock the gate down fast enough for it to matter? I think so. I think it's worth going for it. I'm going to go for the gate. Okay, didn't come off on that occasion. This may have been stupid of me to line these guys up this way. With this thing coming. Yeah, I feel dumb now. That's going to hurt like hell. Oh well. Hmm. Alright, hop in here, do this. Oh! Wow. 30 damage. You did 30 damage. I feel sorry for you. Spell points aren't an issue here. I can spend as many as I want. Um, how far can you move? You can get up there. Yeah. And then do this. I guess I'll dangle the dogs. No, okay, I probably am gonna lose one. Eventually did lose one. Come to here. That happens. Uh, the Magogs actually do have a target, so that's interesting. Okay. That'd be quite a good Magog target, wouldn't it, if I needed Well, at least they provided good meat for, um... Right, I'm just gonna do this again. Come on, open it up. It's only basic ballistics, right? So it takes a while to get online. <sighs> probably that's a kill. It'll probably kill them. Nothing. Let's see what happens here with the unicorns. Okay. I don't have much else to do here. I'm taking more tower hits than I want to. Yeah. It's hard to get leverage, right? I might just wait. Did lose another E Freedom. There's one of them left. Right. So here I could. 7 to 14. You've got 12 left. I'm just going to go for that. I mean, I know what's... You know. Okay, it didn't kill him anyway. Yeah. Uh, what do you reckon? Okay, they're not in danger, the devil. The devil is not in danger. So I'm going to be able to want to blind... It increased his morale by one. <laughs> okay, oh, this stinks. Well, actually, I don't care about the Magogs. Too much. And could I raise demons from that stack? Maybe that's a thing I'll be doing. Yes, yes, now we're talking. So I think I can Alpha Strike and then Blind again. Is maybe what I, what I want to do. Yeah, that is going to be what I want to do, I think. And then I just have to check to see if, if I lose an Efreet. Oh, wow. That was good. So they're going to kill another four, and you're going to swing back with about 40 to 50 damage. So I don't think I lose another Efreet from this. Yeah. Yeah, I don't lose another... Binding is in play, okay. 
fire shield. Right, so can you wait? Can you do this? How many do I get? Eleven. What is the maths for the um, number of D? Eleven seems really good. Eleven seems very, very good. More than I deserve. I don't know. Am I, I feel like I might be missing some opportunities here as I go, but I don't know. I won't risk the magic resistance. Do that. He does this useless move. Oh, he dies voluntarily, so that's good. Alright, we have to take one more shot from the Arrow Tower. Now, if the Arrow Tower shoots the Ifrits, that's going to be... That's going to be the way it is. Damn, I had 14 when she started the campaign, man. 14. That hurts. I must say, that does hurt. Is it time? What's she got? She's got 10 knowledge. Who would have benefited from getting into the fight sooner? I didn't get to. So I missed out on wisdom, and do I regret it? No, I don't. Forgetfulness, there's mirth, I already know. Destroy undead, won't be relevant. Blind, I already know. No. So useless mage guild. Um... And only 19 dwarves here? Yeah. Alright. She has a first aid tent already, yeah. Let's have a look at this tabard. The dragon wing tabard worn on the shoulders increases knowledge and power by plus two, which is quite good. She's gonna spend the night, she has no choice. But she's impervious. She can see for miles thanks to the scouting. I mean, just great. Great, great stuff. Now, did we actually see where Edric landed? No, so Sylvia's here. Uh, what did Edric end up doing? I'm going to replay the turn here because I don't know what they did. Blue did this. Loinus mucked around. Oh, Edric just went into the fortress. Okay. Um, so he went in and vanished into the fortress. So this to me is them saying, we think the game's over, we're going to make a last stand here in Hermit Cove, which we acquired inappropriate, you know, which we inappropriated from me. We've got a ragtag army of all kinds of different troops from different towns. And there's no way in hell we're going to be able to defend this. We might run through the portal, but if we do that, whatever we bring through has to face 19 magic elementals. And I think we can all agree how that will end. Axis is just here, laughing, waiting for them. <laughs> bring it. Hasn't even bothered hiring these yet. Maybe I should start to, to hedge against plague, but we've got ages of time. Acres of time? I don't want to be caught short with the upgrades though, so water actually feels like the one I want more. Can I afford 20? Yeah, we're not hill forting these, right? Where we probably are hill forting. The devils? I don't think it's going to come to that. I, I have a feeling we're way ahead now, so uh, in here, we're first on everything. Their best hero is this, and they're yeah. Picadram is down the bottom. He's already out of the game. I think we're heading towards the end game, folks. Which is ridiculously early, but the map has been so ridiculously configured, and the AI decision making on this map has been so bad. Like, as bad as I've seen, I think. Some of the worst AI decisions I've seen. Which has helped massively. I mean, really, really has helped, you know. Okay. How about we just hire Alima back here once we're ready? 
That's not visited. That's not visited. That's not visited. So there's no time for obelisks or any of that stuff, really. Um, grails, I don't think. What could he do? He could run around and do some stuff up here for us. Tiva, there's some errands to run up here. That is, maybe you can teach it to everyone else. What is it? Protection from Earth. Okay, I can afford to do this without thinking too hard about it. Uh, tavern, heretic. Yeah, yeah. Um. That's a shame, she's going to be quite slow. Any reason to do anything here with Axis? Is there any reason to buy anything? given that this army can't get here yet, and this army is full of the wrong type of troops. <laughs> right? There are no common stacks. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think we're heading towards the end. If I'm honest. Let's get another marketplace up. Just seems good. We don't want to build anything here. What does that do? Increases the luck only when defending a siege, which I don't plan to be doing. There's another problem I have with the AI. Like, where are your Grand Elves? How have you not done the Grand Elf upgrade? Look at how much it costs. 10 wood and 1500 bucks to get the best unit in the game. The Green Elf is just a good, it's just kind of good. I mean, it's not bad, but... Where are your priorities? You're like a teenage boy who needs a good sit down and talking to. Where are your priorities, young man? Is that worth doing? Because I don't really want it. Yeah, it is definitely worth doing. Right? So this will look a bit jarring. Fiona will become our back hero. Um, but that's okay. We'll hire this lady, Marius. Okay. Um, need a couple of dogs. Grab a first aid tent. Grab a spell book. Okay. So she'll immediately pay us back. Do they go around there? There we go. Like that. I want that Mercury. But I also want this. Let's go do this. Oh, Loinus is there. I forgot about him. Alright. There's dwarfs back here though, right? Yeah. See what I mean? She pops out at the bottom. Never mind. Okay. I think we're happy. Looks like Blue's just given up, or Pika Dram's just given up. Yeah. All right, let's see what happens. So they're hiding behind their walls here. The only active hero that isn't me is Sylvia. By active, I mean relevant. So Loinus is just mucking around. Sylvia gallops back. No need to invest more money in the Conflux now. Marius, come do your thing for us. We're ready to ride out. Do I have time for that? If I get a move on, I'll be able to take this castle. Um, I might, I might take the fortress by take the castle and the fortress before the end of day seven.
Tree of Knowledge. Hello, friend. Alima's back here. She could go get these demons. Would you have time for that? Yeah. Learn Cure? She already knows it. I'm feeling like we're in cruise control here. Mostly due to the astounding, um, astoundingly bad decisions made by the AI, I have to say. Picture if you come anywhere near me, I'm just going to buy everything that's here. She could do this. Just remain in the area. For now. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, I didn't realise. Okay. You're going to be in this area here. You've done all this. This has all been done. I don't really have a good use for Rashka this week. You're just holding court here. Um, let's continue our upgrade program, though. Uh, I don't think there's much downside in doing that. Yeah, I still don't need to buy these troops yet, though. Any more upgrades here? Head towards City Hall, the last thing we need. We've still got quite a lot of money to spend to get to City Hall. Is it going to be worthwhile? I don't think so. Yeah, no. All right, all eyes on Sylvia and Eric. They've bought a pack of dragonflies now. I think this army has to face me before the end of the week, though. Yeah, the seafaring heroes don't matter. They're just nobodies. Okay. Okay, Sylvia's gone back to defend. How will that integrate with that? I don't think it'll be able to, right? Lots of dwarves, pack of grand elves, but the yeah the two armies don't mix properly, so I don't know what'll happen here when I attack. Any reason to not do this? None that I can think of. this on the way. It's a nice setup they had here with the Archer's Tower. Very nice. Cool thing is, Ballistic gives me the first turn. That's another key, key thing here. So even if the Archangel is speed 19 and I'm speed 18, I still get the first turn. Spell and cure if she tries to blind my devils. Or if she does blind my devils. Um, haste isn't really. I'm just trying to get in, right? I just want to get my ground, guys. Second shot. Okay, what are you going to do? Haste? That's a joke. Okay, well, thanks for standing there. That's exactly where I would want you to stand. Do I want to... Okay, I'm not sure there's a good way to fight this, so I'm just going to do this. And try to get it done cheaply with these guys, assuming the ballistic doesn't work. Forty-three damage is pretty handy, but they've actually blocked off the halberdiers from continuing. So should I offer? I don't think I'm going to offer the... Yeah, this is okay. This works really well, actually. Ooh. Oh, no, actually they died, though, so they make room for the Crusaders now. I don't think it's going to matter, though, right? I'm just going to let the Crusaders hit the Devils twice. 32 and 32 is 64. 60-ish. Yeah. Come to here. It's meaningful, right? Mm -hmm. Let me 
in. Direct hit. We are in ballistics. <laughs> Thank you very much, ballistics. Well done. Uh, how do I avoid losing? I want to really make sure I avoid losing a devil here. If I could get away with avoiding losing either, it would be amazing. So the Pegasi have movement 13. Um, if I haste these dogs, they'll get in here before the 13. Will they? Well, they're gonna get plus three. How much do they get? Is it plus six with basic, or is it just plus three? It's not clear that I'll go before the Pegasi. But I do go before these other two. These have movement six, but I have seven and eight, respectively, which will be enough to kill 20 Battle Dwarfs, I think. 400 damage. Should be enough, right, between these three stacks to kill the Dwarves. So what I'm saying is let's deny... I have 14, so I go before the Pegasi, so they use the e free to kill the Pegasi, use the Devils to kill the big stack here. And I might avoid the need for... I might avoid the need for another turn. These guys can actually get there, right? One, two... What's your speed? Seven. No, okay, I've got to kill you next turn. I don't have to kill you, man. I think 48 devils do more damage than the 44 Cerberus, anyway. So I think these are going to do at least 80 damage. Right, so I'm, can you get there? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can't get there. If you're doing less damage than you, this is going to go down. I might need to end up uh, attempting a lightning bolt on the dwarves. What else got to do? I can't bless these. I could bloodlust them. 48 horn demons, can they deal... No, that's 400 HP and I'm dealing at least 400 HP of damage, according to the maths. So that's that. Lost 10 dogs. Fiona is now a level 13 demoniac. It's this, right? Might as well pop my head in. A head groom approaches, leading a fine-looking war horse. This steed will help speed you in your travels. Alas, his endurance will wane with a lot of heavy riding, and you must return for a fresh mount at the start of each week. Duly noted, my dear fellow. And look, wow, they have got Archangels upgraded. I'd be tempted to buy that one. Docks the morale, right, but I think that's okay. Is it worth it for the resurrection? How good is the resurrection based on the st size of the stack of archangels that you have? I don't know. Is she moving today? Yeah, probably right. We just want to come down here and finish the fortress. Um... Said, is there anything else I want to take out of here? Like a ballista? Can I buy maybe? What do I learn in here? Scuttleboat. I learned less. <clears throat> Pardon me. Why not? I've forgotten that uh, stables buff that you get. Man, Castle is a strong town. Like every week, all of you guys get bonus movement. And you get the stables really early on in the um, build order of the of the town. Um, these eleven demons are they doing anything for me? Could I leave them behind? I don't think they're going to matter. Hey, is there any flying unit I could use to fly over the walls and die and get raised up? Let's do that. Is this a thing? 
The griffins fly over the walls and die on turn one, and then I raise them into demons. See what I get? How many demons do I get for my thing? I've got 11 demons out of 50 gogs. Probably not, that's just silly, right? No, I won't that. It's probably not a thing. I don't actually know the maths. How many demons you get for, you know, when you when you hit the raise dead button. Uh, does it depend on the number of pit lords in the stack? Probably. Uh, I should probably know that, but I haven't played every faction every few weeks constantly for the last 20 years. So I say I've played the game for a long time, but with big gaps in between. Um, Tiva is here with full movement. Picadram is going to have to come around and have a crack at me at some point, but not yet. Marius is busy doing this. We haven't given a single quest giver their requested item. Um, Rashka, I don't need you to do anything. Tiva, you may as well stay there. Axis, you may as well stay there. In the castle, there is some point to hiring someone, I think. We can have Thorgrim. And Verdish, well, yeah, Verdish kind of goes with. Verdish kind of goes with. Whatever this one is, Teva. Kindred Spirits. Starts with the first A10, okay, that's kind of interesting. Probably that's what I want first and foremost, right? Go do that. Thousand bucks a day, pretty good. You go in here. Mm, yeah, anything else to be done? Probably not. I have the Arca, I have the upgraded Portal of Glory. Oh man, look at this town. We have a nutted town. Even got zealots. Whoever bothers with zealots. Uh, I don't really. Okay. Okay, we're pretty much in cruise control now, aren't we? I mean, I'm getting too cocky. Too big for my boots. Here comes desperation mode. So, Blue have landed. Pick a dram. Blue's heroes have abandoned him and he's been banished from the land. You didn't even try. He just vanished into thin air. So it's all over for blue. Time to put purple to the sword. With my boots and my logistics, do I have logistics? No, it's just the boots. How good is the boots of speed? Look what I've got, look what I can do with the boots of speed. Two plus signs on her movement. That's so good. This could be it, people. Chandra, what are you? Is there any reason not to just go for it? I don't think so. I think I'm overthinking things. Seven Arch Devils is enough to do the stuff. It's going to be a bit messier than the other fights were, but. Oh, this is just a gimme. So we just want to annoy Ch and avoid Chana doing anything annoying. And I have tons of spell points. We both have tactics. We both have the same level of tactics. That's how, that's really cool when two heroes both have tactics. They wear each other, neutralize each other. I'm sure they're overthinking it, right? I'm sure they're just overthinking it. Wasting everybody's time. You guys want to click onto some other video now? I get it. You can see that it's... You can see that I've... The campaign is nearing an end. Morale. No. Oh. I don't need to do anything, I don't think, boys. Yeah. But if you are going to click a different video, click one of my other videos, alright? Stay with me, man. Come on. Please. I've got to get the views up. Boom. Glorious victory. Well, let's just see. This is the real fight. Okay, Edric hasn't done enough. Well, 6 and 6 means he's neutralised a bit of my advantage. Two Archangels. I think we'll want to leverage the Hatred and get them dead quickly. So, let's just make sure I can do that. Ballistics gives me the first turn. 
so I have the um, agency to do that. Once they're down here, can these guys get to a movement six? One, two, three, four, five, six. They all will not be able to reach me with the hydras. Don't mind getting rooted to the spot by this too much, I don't think that matters. Mm. Does it make sense to use the hatred to kill the two archangels quickly? thing. I can always cure if he blinds. So yeah, we're just going to pile in here, try to get my troops in through the gate. No, I'm not an expert. Oh, I've already opened the gate, though, so that's good. So I'm going first with speed 18. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait, right? What's the downside of that? Did the zealots get to shoot? Who cares? Come over? Yeah, okay, well, the dogs will not enjoy that, but... How much damage? I want to see how much damage will... see how much damage the demons will do against the Archangels before I make my decision. So I'm not doing much at all. Let's see if the Wyverns want to come out. Oh. and smack these up. Quite happy if you sally forth with the hydras to kill these. Hey! The boiling tar does 90 damage. I didn't know I was standing on the tar there. out of the dogs, I just want to... Are you going to hit this? Okay, uh, I can be convinced to attack the Wyverns with this. I don't know if I've... Fought this trip. Probably have. first next time. I really thought seven would kill two. How much damage did you deal, boys? 300 damage and kill one. I mean, barely kill one. So these guys deal 50. They have health 250 and attack and defense 30-30. I have 26 to 28, nearly as good. My damage is way worse and my health is 80%. My damage is about 70% is 70%, my health is 80%, and my two skills, but then on top of that we hate each other. I thought the hatred would make me deal ma- so how much did hatred matter? Is it double? 35 times 7, it's 200 and something, so hatred added 50% maybe so. Right, he's out of spell points. 
112, so I could kill the Archangel. Um, but what else are the Devils doing? Well, they're teleporting over and killing the Zealots and Hydras and stuff. Yeah, the Hydras might want to get hit by the Devils, right? So, I don't know if this is right. Let's finish him off. Get off my lawn. Go for this. I think you, if you go for this, you get a higher probability of success. But this tower doesn't do as much damage. Looks good. Oh, come on, I hit it. Uh, that's a miss. Okay. Zealots have no melee penalty, though. And if the basilisks die on the ramp, I get guaranteed access. Let's just kill them. Or hurt them. One. No guarantees I'll kill that. Yeah, eight Efreet Sultans aren't actually... That seems like a good attack. He's can't get to me. Yeah, that was a good attack. Kill this. Should be a kill. Um, I'm probably messed up. I was probably supposed to make a small stack of guys that die that can be resurrected. I've only got eight pickles. Yeah, it's pretty bad attrition on this fight, actually. Let's see. Uh, right, come here. I just do their thing, it'll probably be the E3 to combat. There's another couple. That's bad. But then again, Edric, expert leadership. One would have to say yeah, I've lost three. We'll have to miss out. Oh, step off the tar. That would have been good. That was a stupid mistake. Yes, ballista. Highly relevant. Okay, that's a good. That's very good for us. That's what they're there for. Beautiful. Right, finish them. Good height. Yes. Now, is that a kill? Let's find out. Not ne well, not if I stand. Yeah, to protect. Okay, I, I haven't done the analysis, and it's probably wrong, but I'll do this. Better um, retaliation. Thirty-three backs, pretty handy. Yeah. Shot um, again. Why? Why don't I attack and then see? If again, if I was to bless, it would really work. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't quite have enough. Increases the hand-to-hand, -hand. or I can just take 170. Surely it's lightning bolt. Right? So I get to do this and then see. I might have them here, right? Yeah. Three more and 22 dogs. Yeah, it's not a, an army or a build that's very resilient. But then again, it's month two, week three, right? So it feels like the late game, oh, we're mopping up the map. But our hero isn't very old. She's only 14. 
Uh, she doesn't have artifacts, she's got really bad artifacts. Uh, so there's only so much you can expect from her. Now, in case anyone hasn't seen my other videos, I never take diplomacy, just on principle because it's broken as a skill, uh, ruins the game. Um, that said, expert, earth, expert air magic's no slouch either. Now I think you'll find purple is out of towns. They never unlocked any underground. The genies are still here. Um, where's the underground up here? Right, there are lots of soldiers. So I think we're done. I think the end of this week is the end of the game. Um, we could have a quick look in here to see if the Thieves Guild can tell us anything. Loina still lives and he has archers. The only thing is we just don't know if there's another town. Um, completeness will do some of these things. Um, okay, what's that, my 17th interruption? Um, we are getting this goddamn campaign finished. Flag the grey stuff that's here now after the death of blue. Running round. Doing stuff, wait here until the end of the week, you can wait there. Blue's dead anyway, there's no threat here. Um, okay, you stand about there maybe. Axis, is there any reason for you to stay there? Don't think so. I think we're done here. Is it over? It's just Loinus out on the water now, right? Game over, man. What should we do? Should we go fight these vampire lords for some fun? Lots of vampire lords. We have a blind one of them. Can't do that. 200 points of damage could be relevant. I kill five. Just direct to him. What do you reckon? Slow. Make their movement six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Oh, that's actually quite useful too. Yeah, slow is not as good as blind, but it's not too bad. These guys will skip the turn. Ballista. You're gonna attack the first aid tent, hopefully. Okay, here we go. I could run away though. I don't think I'm gonna do it with this guy. I'm gonna skip his turn. I think the devils are gonna do very nice damage. I mean, it's the Devil Show, right? That's what we're all here to see, yeah. Yes, this is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Move away. Don't care. the demon away? Do I need to? No, absolutely not. There's two, two devil hits in a row coming. The big guys do all the hard heavy lifting for me. There we go. That's one of them. Uh, a horde of royal griffins. There's not much else really down here. I'm not gonna... Do you, I, I, I can't tell if you're watching if you care what's down here now at this point. 
these fights all actually look really basic. Like this is a level, these are all week one type stacks and raw and rewards. There's nothing really juicy down here, no mid game or late game stuff. So I don't think I'll bother um, cracking through into the underground and exploring the rest. I think I'm just gonna let the game, let uh, Loinus. Um, do his thing, try to stop him doing anything sneaky. Yeah, oops, that was a mistake. Um, he's coming back to the rampart for one last hurrah. Who is that? Marius? <sighs> there are dwarves here, that's a relief. Oh. Um, is that enough? I don't even need to take a risk, I could just. Sorry, misclicking here in a, too much of a hurry. It would be stupid if Linus somehow was able to kill those dwarves. Some of my 87 grand here. Good old masters. Okay, come on up. Don't think it'll matter. is playing up here. <clears throat> right. Let's finish this off. Where are we at? Flagging stuff as we go. Seems good. Yeah. I think we're done here, aren't we? Astrola's just... Right, so could I gallop out and kill him? We hire somebody to gallop out and kill him on the coast. Ah, oh, she's back. She was an enemy. She's now come into the coven. fight out on the uh, water. It's pretty good. Oh. Good game. Okay, yeah. Purple has been vanquished. Congratulations, all your enemies have been defeated and victory is yours. Cool. Done deal. And we get the dragon doing his thing. Look at that. The fire, man. The flames of victory. Gotta love that. <laughs> yeah, I just had to move my camera there. It did this weird thing when I was moving it. So, done deal. I'm pretty sure I got exactly 440 in the last... Um, Conflux uh, campaign as well. So I wonder if it's that if you play on an extra large map, you've got to get it done faster? Huh. Well, I don't know how that works. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a, a weird one. It was interesting. Uh, I think it was more fun in the first half than the second half. Uh, we didn't really, the game didn't really step up into any real massive you know, big stack monsters, big stacks of monsters duking it out and killing each other. Um, yeah, I think it was more, the, the juiciest parts were probably the defense of the Inferno, the series of sieges, the defense of the fortress, you know, uh, with um, Josephine's last stand uh, was probably the highlight, I suppose, or one of the highlights anyway, sort of, um, you know, a really, really noble defeat or, you know, trying to, maybe noble's the wrong word, but, but a 
a defeat where you really make them pay uh, and that really bored us you know a really cruisy end game so anyway we're all done here for this one I probably will go ahead and roll into a new uh, series pretty quickly uh, so if you've stuck with me through the whole campaign here I don't know how many videos it'll end up being maybe four or five episodes if you're here on the last episode thanks very much uh, and uh, I'll see you again soon for the next one. Bye for now.